Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm sitting in our den and I wanted to bring up this concept that was in today's devotional on growing in hope. And um, I just want to start off by saying, man, this is getting really intense, this whole corona thing. It's getting to be kind of scary and, and that's why I'm coming on every single day because I feel like we're not going to make it through this unless we depend on God. Uh, earlier today I put on Facebook that there is a national day of prayer and fasting on the 29th, so that is this Sunday. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be um, spending time in prayer. I'm going to take a break um, from eating um, just to remind myself that I am dependent on God, that He is my sustainer, He's my provider, and He's the only one that's going to get us through that. I would love to know if you're going to do that with us. I think as believers, this is the greatest opportunity we have to combat this coronavirus is to pray and to realize who God is. With that being said, in my den right above me are a lot of the pictures that my kids have made. And today's reading was about God being creator. And I think in times of these, sometimes it's easy for, to forget who made everything. Just like some of these pictures up here, we don't necessarily understand or why they colored them the certain way they did or, or what even the picture is. But it's important to realize that it doesn't necessarily matter what I see. It is what my kids decided what it was, what they made it to be. They are the creator. They purposed it. They made it and they gave it reason and found value in it. Guys, God is the creator of everything. We don't have value. We don't have purpose. We don't even have life without God. And if we don't see God as creator, as we're living in a hopeless world, do that. But man, as I was thinking about this, as I was really wrestling with how intense the situation is and, and everything, I, I came to this realization that somehow, in some way, God is still in control. He made everything. He created everything. He gave everything purpose. And he's in control. And as I think we're starting to feel this sense of insecurity and not being in control with us, um, not being able to go out and do what we normally do. Uh, maybe our jobs are at risk. Uh, we've been out of school and it looks like it could be potentially even longer. But realizing that he is still in control and I would encourage us to seek God, see him as creator. Uh, today isn't super, super nice, but I did go outside with my kids today and I was reminded of that as I, as I looked outside, I, I realized that there's still order in life. There's still order in nature, and that is only through God. So I would encourage you guys today, sometime, go outside, even if it's only for five minutes, and just stand outside and look that, that even though this, this whole coronavirus is going crazy, God still has control. Nature is not falling apart. The world is not falling apart. God is still in control, and let's trust Him. Again, Sunday the 29th will be the day of prayer and fasting. I'm also preaching that Sunday. I'll be on Facebook Live at 1030. It will go on YouTube later that evening. So I would love for you guys to tune in. Um, it would be awesome. What I love about Facebook Live is you guys would be able to actually leave comments as I'm preaching and I'll be able to see them. So it's kind of like you're being allowed to talk in church. Um, and I may be even able to interact with some of those things. So please tune in 1030 on Sunday. Um, I'd love to to virtually see you there. If you guys haven't checked out the Devo I've been doing, I'm gonna leave a link to that at the bottom in the comment section. Please join that, uh, just go through it. It's once a day, please. Hey guys, I'm praying for you guys. Let's join together. We can't fight this on our own. It is only God who can fight this. I'll see you tomorrow, peace.